Welcome to Villefranche-sur-Mer, a tiny town located just six kilometers from Nice and with a population of just over 5,000. You can get here on the train from Nice. It's just two stops from Nice's main train station. The name Villefranche literally means free port. And today it's a fishing port and a holiday retreat with a gorgeous beach and one of the most stunning harbors on the Mediterranean, the deep bay allowing cruise liners to lie at anchor here. Villefranche was founded in the 14th century by the Count of Provence and it became part of the Duchy of Savoy in the late 17th century. It was popular for its tax privileges and its status as a free port. Villefranche is an important place in the Russian history of Nice. So when Russia lost the Crimean War in 1856, uh, she had nowhere to put her warships because she lost access to the Black Sea, which was her only warm water port at the time. So the Tsar came here and asked the King of Naples, who was controlling Nice at the time, if they could use the harbour here at Villefranche to store the Russian warships. So the Tsar, the Admirals, some generals, the nobility, they came to Nice and they started to look around and see what it was about. And then after Nice became French in 1860, relations improved and more and more Russians came to Nice and now we have a community of 80,000 people here. Take a strong along Rue du Poilu, which is the main street here in Villefranche, and that's where you'll find all the restaurants and the shops. So Poilu is literally the hairy one in French, but it's the term given to the soldiers who were in the trenches during World War I. Now this street is called Rue Obscure, the obscure street. So you may be wondering why does it have that name? Well, come with me and we'll find out. So this street originally goes back to 1260, when it was originally built to protect against bombardments and so that soldiers could pass through here with no problem. However, it fell to the effects of urbanization and the villagers had to build over it. However, just because the street was hidden doesn't mean that it fell into disuse. It actually was used by some businesses to uh, store their wine and to protect their horses and donkeys. Here at the Église Saint-Michel, you can find a 17th century crucifix carved from the trunk of a fig tree by an unknown convict. This is the imposing citadel of Villefranche, which was built by the Duke of Savoy in 1554 to guard the magnificent port. Now, when Nice's castle was destroyed by Louis XIV in 1706, he ordered this citadel not to be destroyed. There are three museums here in the citadel, the Musée Volti for sculptures, the Musée Goethe Baumeister for paintings with over 100 works, including works by Miro and Picasso, and the Collection Roux, a collection of ceramic sculptures. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our other videos here. If you're coming to the French Riviera and want to find out more about the region's rich history and culture, why not take a tour with us? Visit www.rivierabarcrawltours.com and join us.